It was back, back when we were children that I told you I wanted a bride. I remember I was there. <sighs> but I, I don't think you understand. I thought bride meant something to eat. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hey, yo, what's good, motherfuckers and motherfuckers? It's your boy Digital Draco here, and I'm here with a special video today to celebrate Women's Month. So right off the bat, I just want to say happy Women's Month to all the ladies out there. We love you, we respect you, and we know how great and special you really are. So we're going to kick this shit off with talking about the ladies of Dragon Ball. These women have some top tier riz, you feel me? I'm saying these women don't miss. The only time, matter of fact, that I could actually recall one of them missing when shooting this shot is probably with Launch and the crush she had on Tien. I can tell you like me, Tien. And that's crazy how, to, uh, how out of everybody, she's the one to miss because she's literally the shooter out of all of the, out of all of the women. But I can't say she missed, or at least not completely, because she did live with the homie at one point. So they might have actually been together, but broken up because Launch isn't really good and doesn't like the farming lifestyle. And Tian is pretty much a loner or a hermit and only ever worried about training and becoming stronger. He never really cared about anything else like romance and things of that nature. With that, that leads into talking about the first waifu, or at least the first waifu who had somewhat or an established relationship, and that's Chi Chi. And I mean, y'all all know who Chi Chi is, right? She's the princess of Fire Mountain, the daughter of the Ox King, the wife of Goku, and the mother of Gohan and Goten. Anyway, from day one, Chi Chi wasn't playing no games with Goku. She knew she wanted bro immediately. Well, I can't really say immediately because she didn't like how stupid he was at first but after he showed his strength and all that like she fell head over heels for my boy and they say fight for your man well shit chi chi actually for her man <laughs> their first date actually had them scrapping so i guess you could say they kind of are childhood sweethearts if anything i mean a testament to how much chi chi really loved this dude seven years went by and she came all the way back to the tournament just to get this motherfucker. Within them seven years, she never forgot that promise that Goku was gonna take her as her as his bride when they got old, older. I mean, say whatever you want, but Chi Chi already knew the deal. She knows he absolutely loves her. And she knew it wouldn't be easy from day one dealing with him. She understands why he is so naive due to his upbringing like he didn't have any guidance at all and a little bit of stuff he didn't know was the small window of opportunity that was taught to him by grandpa gohan and i thought bride meant something to eat i mean well my boy goku you aren't really wrong if you know what i mean as i was saying though regardless she still held on and never left because she knows how sweet goku really is and she absolutely knows goku loves her if you ask me, that's my type of woman. Committed, loyal, willing to stick through the tough times with her man. Bruh, they don't make them like this anymore. Okay, I can't mention Dragon Ball waifus without talking about the waifu who is responsible for getting me to not only watch Dragon Ball, but I guess you could say in the long run, I started like an anime period because of her. Boma is definitely the wild one of this pack here especially in the OG series and in N and Z. She definitely had a whole hot thought phase and she really did my boy Yamcha wrong. But I'll get into that in like another vid or the next vid if anything. Again, Boma like Chi Chi doesn't miss when shooting her shot. And you could really see this when she bagged Vegeta. Although she still was like kind of spoiled and hot headed, She's really matured with Vegeta. And I gotta point this out. How Vegeta was like evil and a complete world destroyer at one point. But one night with her, this motherfucker became a family man and he became mellow as fuck. If you know me, I've been on record saying Boma got that wop 
and she probably got the best out of all waifus in anime, period. If she could calm a man like Vegeta down, I mean, just look how this motherfucker pulled up when Frieza came to Earth. Whole swag was different. No armor, nothing. Now that's one hell of a woman. And although Vegeta might be like harsh, I don't even know if harsh like actually fit this because he'd be wildly sometimes. But although he might be like, like it's hard for him to show PDA and, and to be soft and all that other shit, that doesn't make Boma hate him. Like she doesn't like it about him, don't get me wrong, but she understands that he's just prideful as fuck. And she is sort of too. So she she understands why it happens this way. Like their dynamic just fucking works for them. Like it's perfect. They're perfect for each other. Like they're both stuck up. They're both assholes, et cetera, et cetera. So at the end of the day, she's not worried about it because plenty of times Vegeta has shown he cares more than enough about her and his family. They say get you a girl that's just like your mom. Well, my boy Gohan followed that advice to a motherfucking T because Videl is damn near just like Gigi. I think y'all starting to notice the similarity here between the wifes, right? All of them are tough, feisty, stubborn as fuck, and tomboyish. Videl was on the mission. Like, literally, she was chasing my boy down just because she was nosy as fuck. And once she started to notice how like caring and gentle Gohan was, oh, it was a wrap from there. Also real quick, let me shout out my boy Gohan real quick. Cause the homie is a man of culture. He knew he could have easily dodged this motherfucking attack. But man's had his priority straight understood. Why would I dodge this type of attack? He knew the deal. Anyway, back to her. She even used the fact that she wanted to learn how to fly and use key and all that as an excuse just so she could be around him more. I mean, she even cut her hair because she thought Gohan liked short haired girls better. Shorty made up her mind that she was gonna get this motherfucker. She even says this in the series how he better not die or anything because she not finished with him. Again, that's the type of chick I like. She know what the fuck she want. She know what she needs and she gonna go get that shit. Shout out to Videl. The last one I'll speak about is Android 18. And in my humble opinion, 18 is the best waifu in Dragon Ball. Hands down, bruh. She's the calmest out of all of them, but just because she ain't all rowdy and rah-rah, doesn't mean she be BSing. She might also be the coldest because her Riz was premeditated as fuck. Like, yo, you can't tell me she ain't know what the fuck she was doing when she slid up on our short king, kissed him, and told him, I see you later. She knew she was gonna have mans tripping out of his mind. Like, she had this motherfucker Krillin fighting himself over the fact that she is a baddie and how he should kill her, but he couldn't because he was already hooked. 18 may be cool, calm, and collected, but she still cares very much about her family and Krillin. I mean, so much that Shorty was about to use a whole wish from Shinron just to get the right gift for this motherfucker because she had no idea what to get him. Shout out to Boma though, pulling up and letting her know that like the sweetheart, the gift is you. Krillin happy as long as he got you and his daughter. Boma was a real one for that. Now, if that don't tell you that you got a good one on your hands, that she willing to put a whole wish up just for you, then I don't know what the fuck will, bro. Like, honestly. All right, yo. Anyway, that's it for me here, bro. As I said early in the beginning of the vid, Happy Women's Day to all the ladies out there, and I mean, you know what it is. You know I love y'all. I ain't even got to speak much on that, you feel me? So give this video a thumbs up. I mean, them likes up the channel and really trying to build up the second channel. And if you're not a follower or a subscriber or whatever you want to call it, and you like what I'm talking about, you like the videos, you like what you heard here today, then go ahead and sub to your boy, you know what I mean? Let's get this right. 
Until then, until next vid, y'all be easy. I'm out.